So here we're looking to understand the connection between the scapula, the side body, and the hips. As I reach, I also expand my ribs on that side up to the sky and splay them open like an accordion. I touch down to the ground, or whatever low point I can reach, and then return to the top. We can then add weight to this, looking for the same sense of length between our wingspan and the same expansion in the lateral ribs as we breathe into them. You can load this heavier and begin to work with a deeper side bend, bending the elbow and moving more into spinal flexion. You can also bind across to the opposite ankle, pull into that to encourage the twist as you reach. Make sure your shoulder feels spacious and stable through this movement by reaching away from your body and exploring different scapula arrangements. You can rotate externally or rotate internally to create this space and to explore how that integrates with the hip and side body. Once again, touching the elbow to the floor is more advanced and then reaching further down the leg will pull you deeper into your pancake. You can then weight this same progression as you did with the seated one, touching the elbow down first and then eventually reaching across and going towards a shoulder touch. Notice how I still work with internal and external rotation here to facilitate the smoothest, most comfortable, stable shoulder position. You can then explore stretching this without any load and rinsing between the lats and the shoulders as you work through different lines of tension.